Alright, so briefly, our boy Man Hour Shadow has dropped down to double Zoe. And this is inevitably a terrible idea, I think, but gonna try it out. Uh hopefully we can make it somewhat far in this tournament down here, because I threw together a bad trick room team in like half a minute. And if we do make it anywhere near a definition of far, that's just all the more telling of how broken this Pokemon is. Alright, so I think Fake Out into Spectral Thief will kill Feeny. Running a Banded one, because no one would expect Banded Inquisition. Uh, I thought Max Speed Feeny would have outspeeded me there. Alright, that flinch of course comes in handy. Never doubt the flinch. Alright. So you are not max speed. For those who don't know, when a Pokemon Mega evolves, it gets all of its speed. This does mean is Bandit Spectral Steve steals the plus two. What's bad is that means that you click Moonblast. If I don't go for Deancey, that means you click Moonblast anyways. Mars Shadow is a bit too valuable. Well, actually, does Bop Cartana. So does Incineroar. So I'm a B. Risky. if I can do something silly. I did something silly. Alright, so as you can see, Spectral Thief steals every boost it can before. Name from you. <laughs> okay, Yoda. Spectral Thief steals every boost before. It attacks, it does not steal nerves. It means I now have a double defense Mars Shadow with 50% more attack at the cost of only using one attack. It, I. Yoda is my buddy. I want to make sure he's okay. He's cool. Made the top 100 before. It's a good person to know. I think I ally switch. And I'm just going to try and KO the Feeny. Alright, you can go to Cartana. Now let's see. Did I make the right play? Yes. I made the right play. I made the very right play. So let's see. That only did 47% that is not favorable to me but also th that would have done a lot done twice as much without the reflect up and Cortana has like 100 131 base defense that's a lot of defense for this game I'm not sure it's safe to switch Mars Shadow yet because sure it may well faint here, but I can also get off and intimidate with Incineroar, threaten both of them with fake out pressure. Okay, that's. That was very bold. So I fake out into Bulu here. Oh my god. Am I going to show why Marshadow? Is broken this game. See, uh, Mars Shadow was banned last time it was in the metagame because it invalidated every setup sweeper slower than it. This is because it, as aforementioned, collects the boost before it attacks. And then it just KOs back. So we've seen it do that to non max speed Mega Deancey. Yeah, as, as you can see, he's gone and forfeited there. I cannot blame him. And 
we also did it to his Cortana. Now I'm of the opinion that Cortana is actually a decent way to take on Marshall because it now has a move called Tailwind that doubles its speed for the next four turns. And therefore, it's no longer as slower than Marshadow. But here's the thing I'm running Adamant Banded Marshadow, which is one point higher than regular non Tailwind up Cartana, meaning that it's 349 as opposed to 348, meaning that I still beat it 101. So, yeah, not, not a lot of people are running Banded. Marshadow, but as you can see, at plus two, Marshadow goes to 861 attack if it's adamant nature, which is actually terrifying. So I'm of the opinion this thing should stay banned. I'm not laddering for it right now, but hey, I, I can at least get my thoughts out there. All right, this. Without an opponent having Marshadow. That is, Marshadows will beat my Marshadow one on one. Alright, so yes, an opposing trick means I should not rush to get my trick group. As strange as that sounds. It up for me. Definitely full trick room with the ex the Alone Sand Slash. I believe in this. Uh, or in a forum post. It was constructed to try and just use alone, which I respect. I'm gonna go AV Bulu. This is where really would have been really really good to use instead of. And I don't want to go Chansey. Everyone does have Protect. I am running same. All right. It's a very, very smart play. Start his speed. Make a somewhat aggressive play with my Bulu here. Incineroar. If I just protect with Gardevoir, I end up going behind. So I get my dual intimidates off. off. Aurora Veil comes out. Blizzard comes out. Bulu. And my computer has uncrashed. Perhaps this is not the wisest thing of me to do. <laughs> So what do you do? Yeah, you go for the flinch. Figure that much. I go for the kill. I get my berry. All right. Things are not going terribly right now. This is where having something like defog would be good. I could just defog. Let's see what these alerts are. Make sure I'm not needed in the library. Okay, people we'll just review and work. So let's see. Fake out is going to come out. So I want to start banging away at this Obama's note. It's annoying me. Fake out's going to come out into Incineroar. So I can go into my normal resist. No? Okay. I misread that turn. I deserve everything that comes from it. I can soft boiled here. And this means it's snuggle time. All right, because I am at neutral. Offensive stats there. I'm, if that crit mattered, uh, probably did. That crit mattered. 
but I will take crits that help me when I can. I want to start beating down. It's going to be the next annoying thing. All right, crit freeze. That balances our hacks. So, okay, my chancy has been frozen. Now, you may be asking, why run chancy in like doubles OU? Is that chancy has the best bar support move pull? You have apple poles, you get stealth rocks. And you have uncomparable bulk. All right, that. Play at all. I can respect that play. I'm going to knock off on the necrozma if I can. Alright, so, so it's not. That makes things a lot easier to deal with. I should have done that. I should have side flare blitz. That would have been perfect. That would have been. I want to knock off this weakness. I don't want to risk having to go into and somehow it survives and powers it up. I'd rather it stock up the one more defense boon, steal that, and just. Bamos now, I think, is probably in range. 